Okay, so if you sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. So activate your feet, spread toes, spread the balls of your feet, and let your arms rest onto your thighs. And then feel for being, feel for stepping into a space, a safe space, your own yogic sanctuary. Giving yourself a moment to notice how you feel. So feel the breath as it enters your body, taking that breath in. And then allowing it to move through your body. Grounding down into sit bones and then breathing lengthen spine. And exhale, relax your forehead. As you breathe in, expand your ribs. Exhale, relax your jaw. On the next breath, lift sternum as if you're lifting up towards your chin. Keep inhaling and lift collarbones. Keep chest lifted on exhale. And one more breath here, deep breath. Exhaling as you release. So the intent today is to work with whatever is coming up, up for you. I'm not trying to move away from it, hide away from it, but just be very observant of what comes up and how that feels and how that's how you're affected uh, by what is coming up. Pranayama is Kapalabhati breathing. We'll do this in shoelace pose. So if you bring your left foot over your right thigh, just up over the knee and reach your heels away from you. So if this is a difficult pose at the start, then you have the foot onto the car or the foot is onto the floor or you can place that foot onto a block. So you can stay cross leg if, that's, if that feels tight into these at this early stage of the class. Bring your hands behind your hips and feel the pushing the floor away. Now breathe in. And sharp exhales through the nose, moving belly, 80 pumps. And then breathe in. And then hold the breath, hold for 10. So feet active, spine long. Bring your hands forward of your shins and then exhale. <sighs> exhale completely, chin tucks in, Udiana, pull belly in. Pull it in, pull it up, spread ribs, spread diaphragm, and keep feeling for hollowing your belly out. And release, push the floor away, breathe in, as you come all the way on back up. Change across the legs. Shoelace with your right foot over your left, reach your heels away from you, and make the adjustments so that this feels right for you, so you're not hurting uh, yourself. Hands by hips. 
be active in hell. Sharp exhales through the nose, Kapalabhati. Then breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Be active. Span is long. Just feel the sensations that come up for you as you're holding now. Hands forward and then exhale. <sighs> exhale completely. Chin tucks into chest. Pull your belly in, pull it in, pull it up, spread ribs, spread diaphragm, keep feeling for hollowing your belly out. And release, push and flow away, breathe in, you should come all the way on back up. Your next pose is in half lotus. So bring your left foot over your right thigh by the hip. The right foot is moving towards your left sitter. Coming into a spinal twist. So bring your left hand either lined up with sacrum, or if you can, bring the hand all around, tuck it onto right hip, or taking hold of your right left foot with left hand. And also use a strap to assist if you wanted to use the strap in that way. You inhale, reach your right arm is up, you're opening right side ribs. And as you breathe out, bring your right arm across your left thigh. Try to line your chin with chest and then breathe length and spine. And as you exhale, keep the length, but you're twisting to the left. Breathe in and expand your ribs wide to armpits. And as you exhale, you're twisting to left. Deep breath, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And exhale as you twist to left. Now breathe into heart, feeling but energizing your heart with this breath. Feel as if you're pushing the floor, sit bones, presses down, and then as you exhale, lengthen. So keep the length through the spine. On the next breath, feel as if you've been drawn right up towards the ceiling. And exhale as you twist to left. Inhale, release. And wind the cross of your legs, change the cross of your legs. Half lotus with your right foot over your left. Right hand is coming back, it's either on the floor, flat aligned with sacrum, or if you can, bring the hand further around. You may go as far as taking hold of your right foot with right hand. You can use a strap to assist. Inhale, left arm is up. And as you exhale, left arm is coming across against your right thigh. Breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm. And exhale, twist to the right. Sit both presses down, breathe in, lengthen out of lower back. And as you breathe out, you're twisting to the right. Now breathe in and expand your ribs, using this to open up lungs. And as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Relax skull bones. And then breathe, feel for drawing energy in from sky, allowing the energy to move through your body. 
and exhale as you twist to the right. Inhale, release, unwind across the legs. Straighten your left leg, coming into seated side bend with one leg straight. So straighten your left leg. Left leg is reaching straight forward. Your right foot is tucked in so the heel is by your groin. You want to go further, then bring your right foot back so that the heel is by your glute. And move your right thigh away if you're taking it back. Bring your right hand back, grab hold of the ankle with right hand or fingertips to the floor. Inhale, reach your left arm up as you open left side reach. Exhale, bring your left arm down on the inside of left leg. Relax your left ear with left shoulder. If you're not holding your right ankle with right hand, then reach the hand back 12 inches. Breathe in and lengthen your left side ribs up away from left hip. Keep lifting out of your left side. And as you exhale, relax your left ear to left shoulder. Breathe in, lift sternum. So lift your chest right up towards the chin. And as you exhale, glide your right shoulder away. Glide it back and then glide it down away from right ear. Inhale into the right side of your neck. Deep breaths. And exhale, relax your jaw. Lower your chin slightly towards the left side of the chin. Press your sit bone to floor and then breathe in and feel your lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, as your sit bones presses down, reach your left foot forward, spread the toes. On the next breath, slide your right arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, feel for moving your shoulders away from each other. Keep the neck relaxed and relax your jaw. Now breathe. As you breathe, lift sternum, lift diaphragm, lift belly. And as you breathe out, reach your right elbow down towards your left sit bone. Release your right arm, breathe in, reach your right arm up towards the sky, fingers spread. And as you exhale, reach your right arm back. Now feel the energy right through the palm of the hands out to fingertips. Now breathe. Lift out of your left side. Keep lengthening out of the left side. Push the floor away with your left hand if you need to. And then as you breathe out, as you arc your chest forward, reach in your right arm straight back. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Keep the length, and as you exhale, reaching that right arm forward. Now keep feeling for spreading as if you're lengthening the fingers away from the palm of hand. On the next breath, lower your right arm, the right shoulder slightly, and then as you exhale, wrap the shoulder as you're reaching your right arm forward. So feel the broadening across your back. Now breathe in and expand. Feel your top ribs opening skywards, your bottom ribs opening towards your left thigh. And as you exhale, as you lengthen that right arm forward, your right sit bone is reaching back. From your pelvic bowl, breathe in and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you fold, hands down either side of your front foot. Breathe in and expand, spread the breath into your back ribs. And as you exhale, fold forward, that left foot is active, reach forward with the ball of your foot. If your hamstrings feel really tight, then bend your left knee, heels contract to sit bone, reach forward with the ball of your foot. Now breathe in, take this as deep as you can and feel the moving belly up away from pelvis. 
and as you exhale with ease as you fold. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away, breathe in, as you come all the way on back up and change. Your right leg is reaching straight forward, your left foot is tucked in, so the heel is by the groin. Option to go further. Reaching the foot back, so the heel is by the glute. Moving thighs away from each other. Reach out, spread the toes, the ball of your foot. Your left hand is back, is grabbing hold of your left ankle, or the fingertips into the floor. Press into right sit bone, inhale. Reach your right arm up, but really feel the opening right side ribs. Exhale, the right hand is down on the inside of right leg. Relax your right ear to right shoulder. And if you're not holding your left ankle, lift your left hand up and then reach it back. It's about 12 inches from the floor. Now resist folding onto your right thigh. So breathe in and lift. Lift your side ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand as you reach your left shoulder away from left. Now breathe in as you breathe, lift sternum. The chest is lifting. Keep lifting it up towards your chin. Feel your diaphragm is lifting as you lift your chest. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder back. Glide it away from your ear. Breathe to back apart. Feel as if you're lengthening your top ribs away from your mid ribs. And as you breathe out, feel for reaching your sit bones back. Belly's, belly's moving away from your right thigh. And the next breath, slide your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, you're moving your left shoulder away from left ear. Now breathe into space that you've just created into the left side of your neck. And as you exhale, relax your jaw. Deep breath. Breathe into heart. Feel the energizing heart with breath. And as you exhale, as you push the floor away with your right hand, glide your left elbow down towards your right sit bone. Inhale, release your left arm, reach your left arm up towards the sky, spread the fingers, spread the fingers wide and feel for reaching the fingertips up. So as if they're being reaching through fingertips, exhale, arch chest forward and reach your arm back. Keep the neck relaxed as much as you can. Now breathe to back apart right between shoulder blades. And as you exhale, you're lengthening that left arm away from your left ear. Now reach your left arm up to ceiling. Keep the length, and as you exhale, lengthen your left arm forward over your left ear. On the next breath, lower your left arm slightly. And then as you exhale, wrap the shoulder as you're reaching your left arm forward. So feel your side ribs are opening, the bottom ribs and the right side are also opening. Now breathe to sternum, chest is lifting. You're moving chest forward towards chin. And as you exhale, as you lengthen your left arm forward, glide your belly away from left, right thigh. As you breathe, expand your ribs. And as you breathe out, fold forward. So the hands are down either side of your right foot. Feet still active. Breathe into lower back and open the lower back with breath. And exhale as you fold. Now breathe to sternum, filling your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, you fold in. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on up. Coming into your abdominal sequence today, you need a, a roll with starting with elbow to knee. So have the roll close by, a roll or a block close by. So lie down onto your back. Your hands are clasped 
behind your head and neck. The soles of your feet are on the floor. Your back is tweaky, your feet will stay on the floor, and your pose will be, as you press your lower back to the floor, breathe in, you lift head, shoulder blades up, you hold the breath. Exhale, as you curl tailbone up, your elbows into left knee, and you pull your belly in. Pull it in, pull it up. If you're going further, one foot is off the floor, and if you're going further, straight to the neck. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, lower head and shoulders down. Lift your feet up off the floor, bend the knees, the knees align with hips, the heels are below the knees and toes and flexed. Your back is tweaking, you keep your feet down to the floor. Okay, going together. From here, inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach both elbows to left knee. Reach your right leg forward about 45 degrees angle. Relax your right hip. Send your right thigh forward, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach both elbows to your right knee, and straighten the left knee. Relax your left hip, curl tailbone up, reach your left thigh forward, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press the top rib of the sacrum down. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to the left knee. You're reaching your right leg forward. Spread the toes. Bend the legs forward away from that right hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee and reach your left leg forward. Relax your left hip, curl tailbone up, send your left leg forward, reach out, spread the toes. As you reach the foot forward, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath. The lower back is pressing down. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to your left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Relax your right hip, curl tailbone up, Reach your right leg forward. Now reach your left elbow up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl elbow up. Both elbows to right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Curl elbow up. Send your left leg forward. Keep reaching that left forward. Now reach your right elbow up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes. Reach forward. Feel for unlocking that right hip. Curl tailbone up. Send your right leg forward. Now lift your chest. Reach both elbows up. So feel the bottom ribs opening up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to your right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Curl tailbone up. Send your left leg forward. Lift your chest. Reach both elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to left knee, reach your right leg forward. Relax your right hip, curl tailbone up, send your right leg forward, now lift your chest, reach both elbows up, reach them back so you're unlocking the shoulders, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, both elbows to right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Curl tailbone up. Reach your left leg forward. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up, reach them up, reach them back. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, release. Go ahead and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet. Onto the floor. 
and just give yourself a moment now just to feel your belly, feeling how internally you're affected by this pose. Grab hold of your roll, place the roll between your thighs, clasp your hands behind your head and neck, and reach your legs straight up. If your back is tweaky, you can do this pose with the feet on the floor, or you can do the pose with your knees bent. Hands are clasped behind head and neck. Press your lower back to floor. Let reach your legs straight up. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. As you exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your legs straight up and reach both elbows to left knee. Squeeze the roll. Squeeze sit bone to tailbone. Now stretch your legs up. Reach your elbows up towards the left and pull belly in. Inhale at the center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down. Squeeze the roll. You exhale, curl tailbones up, reach your legs straight up, both elbows to right knee. Squeeze roll. Squeeze sit bone. Stretch your legs up, reach out with active feet, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath. The lower back is pressing to floor. Feel as if you're lengthening sit bones away from you. Now squeeze the roll. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your legs straight up, both elbows are to your left knee. Squeeze roll, squeeze sit bone. Now feel you're lengthening your left side ribs away from left hip. Pull belly in. Reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale. Come back to center, bend the knees. Don't bend the knees, just hold the breath and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your legs straight up, reach both elbows to right knee. Squeeze roll, squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Now reach out, reach out, spread the toes. Feel the gliding, your right ribs away from right hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down. Now squeeze the roll. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your legs straight up, both elbows to left knee. Squeeze roll. Feel the inner thighs, the inner calves and ankles as if they're squeezing towards each other. Reach your legs up, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, reach them up, reach them back, pull belly in. Inhale. Come back to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down. Now squeeze the roll. And as you exhale, curl elbows up, reach your legs up, elbows to right knee. Squeeze roll. Stretch your legs up. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, release lower head and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Grab hold of your block. So this is an option. We did this the, uh, in the last class. We have either used the block or use the strap. So it's bridge, doing bridge using the strap today. So if you're using bridge with a strap, as you lie down on your back, Place the strap either into a big loop around your right ankle. Your feet, your heels aligned with sit bones or hip distance apart. So move your heels back and brush your heels with fingertips. Your arms will relax down by your side. From here, press both feet to floor and breathe in length and belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up, away from the floor. Keep the strap in, in touching distance. As you breathe, you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you reach up. Now reach down with your right hand, grab hold of the strap. You may ease your right foot closer towards your right sit bone. 
Left arm reaches down, both hands have grabbed hold of the strap. Press down, Is your, press down into your uh, both feet. And as you breathe in, lift up, lift your chest, draw chest to chin. And as you exhale, as you lift up a little bit more, send thighs and knees away from you. Deep breath, move belly away from your right thigh. And as you exhale, lift up, push the floor away, send thighs and knees forward. As you breathe in, feel you're expanding your ribs out to the side. And as you exhale, as you push the floor away, you lift up, you're still holding the strap. As you breathe in your ribs, open the ribs out to side. And as you exhale, lift and send thighs and knees forward. Keep lengthening out of lower back. One more breath like this, deep breath. And exhale, tilt pelvis, lower upper back down. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back. And tilt as you come all the way down. Change, move the strap onto your left ankle. Draw your heels back so the heels are aligned with sit bones or they're hip distance apart. Press lower back down, breathe in, lengthen ribs away from waist. Press your feet to floor, exhale, tilt pelvis, lift your pelvis up away from the floor. Now breathe into side ribs, feel your ribs as they expand out wide to armpits. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you lift up. Now breathe in and move your belly away from pelvis. As you exhale, push the floor away, send thighs in the opposite direction. Grabbing hold of the strap with your left hand, draw your left heel closer towards your left hip bone. Grab hold of the strap with both hands. And then as you breathe in, you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, lift up, push the floor away as you lift. Breathe to heart, feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you exhale, push the floor away, move chest to chin, send thighs and knees away from you. Now breathe, feel your moving belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, send thighs and knees away from you. Inner thighs are squeezing toward each other. One more breath like this, breathe in deeply. And exhale, tilt pelvis lower, upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis lower, mid back down, move your arms, and then lower all the way down. From here, bring your hands down by hips, and then lift one foot off away from the floor, draw the knee to chest, and then lift the other foot up. Once there, straighten your legs. Bring your soles of your feet together. Your arms are reaching up, you've grabbed hold of the feet over your chest. Slip the balakanasana on your back. So from here, take a deep breath into lower back, spreading ribs. And exhale completely through the mouth. Odiana, chin tucks in, pull belly in. Pulling all the way in, spreading ribs, spread diaphragm. Keep moving feet to chest. Keep reaching your sit bones away from you. Feeling for hollowing your belly out. Then relax and breathe. Breathe into lower back, spreading ribs. And exhale. Pull the belly in. Move your feet to chest, knees to armpits, and keep reaching your sit bones away from you. And release. Roll to your right side. Bring your left hand to the floor by chest, breathe in, and exhale, push the floor away as you come up and use your right hand to support your head. Come on to your knees, to your next push. Your next pose is dolphin. If you're doing dolphin and then dolphin strut. If you're doing dolphin first, hands onto your biceps, 
elbows to the floor under the shoulders. Reach your hands forward, spread the fingers. Your forearms are parallel. Your elbows align with the shoulders. You can also clasp your hands in this way too. Keep neck, shoulders relaxed. And then breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl, toes under. And exhale, lift knees off the floor, then push the floor away. Move your chest to thighs and knees. Breathe into top ribs, feel for length, lift top ribs away from shoulders. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back. Now breathe into lower back, feel for length and lower ribs away from sacrum. Now really pull your belly in, exhale, send your sit bones back. Breathe into side ribs, feel your ribs as they open wide to armpits. Now exhale, push, push the floor away as you reach back. Inhale, release, bend the knees and come all the way on down. Set up a dolphin strut. And if the dolphin strut isn't working for you today, then do dolphin with your hands, hands clapped. Your dolphin strut, you'll be measuring up in the same way. Your hands come down, reach forward. From here, you're breathing in, lifting, spreading back, curling toes under. Exhale, reaching back. For your dolphin strut, I'm stepping my right foot forward about two, maybe three inches. Right hand goes back, it's grabbing hold of the heel, ankle, calf maybe higher up. And then you breathe into right hip. As you exhale, reaching your right leg away from you. Keep tucking the, the elbows in. So that's your pose, deep breath. And as you exhale, feel as if you're sending your right thigh away from right hip. Now breathe as if you're breathing into left armpit. And exhale, reach back. Back of the thighs reaches to the back wall. Breathe the sternum, deep breaths. And as you breathe out, heels to the floor. Inhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way on down. Change for the other side. So the measurement is the same. Measure up. Your right hand is forward. Both hands are forward. Breathe in, lift, spread back, curl toes on. Exhale, lift the knees off the floor and move your chest back to thighs and knees. So dolphin strut, step your left foot forward about two, maybe three inches. Then reach your left hand back, grab hold of the heel, the ankle, or the calf. Breathe into left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach your left heel towards the floor. You feel the lengthening into side ribs all the way up into left armpit. Breathe into right armpit, deep breath. And as you exhale, use your right forearm to push the floor away. Both thighs are lengthening away from the pelvis. Breathe the sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your left hand back to floor and bend the knees and come all the way on down towards the Take a breath. Take a breath in and breathe. From there, come on up to stand. Standing. Standing with your feet about two feet away from you. Bring bend the knees, the hands onto your thighs. Heel of the hands are by your hip crease. This is Agnisara. Do four rounds, too slow, too fast. So knees are bent, you're pressing feet to the floor. Breathe in. And exhale. Agnisara, going nice and slow. Breathe in and exhale. Tuck the chin in, suck the belly in and up and let it go. Suck it in and up. 
let it go all the way in and up and release two rounds fast breathe in and exhale chin stuck in it and move the back as fast as you can One more, breathe in. Exhale. And this up as fast as you can. And release. So standing at the front of your mat, doing some salutations, and then coming into uh, three pose vignette. Your feet, if your back is uh, okay, stand with feet together, press down with your feet, lift the toes, otherwise your feet are a little bit wider, about hip distance. Exhale, bring hands together by chest. Anchor into your feet, feel as if you're pressing heels down, and then breathe in, reach your arms up, telescoping ribs as you lengthen arms to sky. Forward bend, exhale, hands to the floor. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, place your left knee to the floor. Push the floor away, as you reach the arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, hands down, step, right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees. As you exhale, low down, keep the elbows tucked into the side. Inhale, cobra. Move chest and reach forward whilst lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward dog. Feel for pushing floor away in downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step. Your left foot forward between the hands. Right knee is to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg forward, forward down. Now breathe in, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, sweep your arms out and up. Reach out, spread the fingers, lift chest, but reach your sit bones back. And as you exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. As you breathe in, move your belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Reach back into heels, lower down, keep elbows tucked in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest down, reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot forward by left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra, move chest and reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra, move chest and reach forward, left the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, step or pop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, left into the spine. Chair pose, knees are bent, inhale, lift your chest. Reach your arms up, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, stand, hands together by chest. Press your feet to floor, breathe in, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Inhale, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, and reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra, move chest and reach forward, left the legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lunge, step your left, right foot forward between the hands, left knee is to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg forward, fold back. Breathe in, stand, lengthen through spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. To breathe in, sweep your arms up, lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. 
Breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra, move chest and ribs forward. Lengthen the legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. From here, extended lunge. So breathe in, step your left foot forward by left hand. Place your left hand to the floor by your left foot. Uh, and reach your right arm up towards the sky. Extended warrior. Press into your left leg. Breathe and lengthen, reach forward on your left side. And as you reach back into your right foot, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. As you breathe, lengthen the ribs away from waist. Push the floor away with your left foot as you reach your left arm up. The next breath, move your chest forward. And as you exhale, reach your right heel back. Inhale, release. Hands down. Step your left leg back from plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra, moving. Chest and reach forward as you lengthen the legs back. As you breathe out, press it back. Downward facing dog. Push your floor away. On the next breath, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand. Then reaching your left arm up towards the sky. Extended warrior. Pressing into your right foot, breathe in, lengthen ribs away from right hip. And as you press back into your left leg, reaching your left arm up to the sky. Breathe to sternum, filling your heart up with breath. And as you exhale, send your right sit bone back. Feel as if you're reaching back to the edge of your left foot and then breathe and lengthen away from that foot. Keep lengthening the whole of the left side. As you press your right foot down on exhale, send your left arm skywards. Inhale, release. Hands down, step back for plank. Reach back into heels, push the floor away. Exhale, lower down. Cobra, inhale. Moving chest and ribs forward as you length the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees and as you breathe in step or float your legs between the hands. Exhale, forward, forward bend, that is it. Chair pose, knees are bent, sweep your arms up, lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. And exhale, stand your hands together by chest. Inhale, reach your arms up, lift the chest, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Lunge, breathe, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee and sweeping your arms out and up towards the sky. You're pushing the floor away with your right foot. As you exhale, hands down, step your right leg back to plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into upward facing dog. Move chest, ribs forward, lengthen your legs back, sit bones stuck to heel. And as you breathe out, press back. Then step your left foot forward between the hands, right knees to the floor, pushing the floor away as you're reaching your arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down, step your right leg forward, forward bend. Breathe in, stand, lengthen through spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, sweep your arms up, lift your chest, reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. And as you breathe out, step or float it back into plank. Stay here, reach back. Now keep the elbows tucked in. As you exhale, lower and hold. Lengthen your left back. Sit close, step heels. Lower and hold. And then breathe into upward dog. You're moving your chest and reach. Elbows in. Reach your elbows back to hips. Sit bones is tucking down. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing the door away and downward dog. On the breath, breathe in, step your left foot forward for arrow lunge. So the right knees off the floor, release the back foot and pushing the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. You can have the hands onto your thighs and traction your thigh forward. Breathe in and lift up. Keep lifting away from your left thigh. As you exhale, go in a little deeper. 
One more breath, lengthen out of lower back. Exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reaching back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra or upward dog. Moving chest down, reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward dog. Push and throw away. Arrow lunge, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Release that foot, the knees off the floor, that leg is straight. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up. You can have the hands onto the thighs or the floor. Press back into your left leg and lift out, keep lifting out of that side. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Press your right foot to floor, lift belly away from thigh. And as you exhale, reach back. Release, hands down. Step back for plank. Right leg steps back. Lower down, keep elbows tucking in. Breathe into upward dog. Moving chest and reach forward. Lengthen legs back. Ankles squeeze toward each other. And as you breathe out, press it back. Downward dog. On the next breath, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward. Belly's in. Chair pose, knees are bent, lift your chest, reach your arms up, but send your sit bones back. And exhale, stand, hands together, by chest. Okay, if you need a quick drink, take a quick drink. We'll be moving through fairly continuously through the remainder. And then standing at the front of your mat. Bend the knees, chair pose. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, lift your chest. Let your shoulders soften and reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. As you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra, move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior two, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Your right foot is way to the short edge of the mat, line up front, heel with the arc of the back foot, the arms are reaching out towards the side. Feel as if you're lengthening your arms away from you. Feel strength in legs as you're pushing the floor away. So breathe in, lengthen belly, diaphragm, chest up. As you exhale, go in a little deeper. Press down with the little toe side of your left foot so your knee does not turn inwards. Keep it straight. Relax your arms down by your side, but don't come up. Stay in. Shoulder shrugs. Take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze top tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze, the low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Elbows bent. Exhale, squeeze, low tips of shoulders. Draw down. Release, float your arms out to side. Stay in the pose, keep feeling for pushing the floor away with both feet. Eagle warrior, inhale. Bring your left arm over right and bind the hand. And as you breathe out, lift your elbows up. Breathe to the back of heart, feeling for energizing your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, reach into your forearms forward. Now breathe the sternum, filling your heart up with breath. And as you breathe out, draw your arm bones back. Press into both feet. And then breathe in, push the floor away as you're stressed up. And exhale, release. Float your arms out to side. And then windmill the hands either side of your left foot. And then turn so that you are on the ball of your 
uh, right foot. You'll stay here or hands onto your left thigh, traction your thigh forward or reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. So reach back into your right heel as you breathe in, lengthen all the way out and up. As you exhale, bend that front knee, go a little deeper. Press into your left foot and then breathe in, lift belly, lift that front, lift chest. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're sending your left sit bone down towards your left heel. Now breathe in and lengthen out, lengthen out of lower back. Exhale, release, hands to the floor, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Inhale, cobra, moving chest and reach forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, press it back, downward facing dog, feeling for pushing the floor away in your downward dog. Inhale, step your right leg forward between the hands for warrior two. Your left foot is square to the short edge of the mat, front heels, Align with the arc of the back foot and your arms are reaching out towards the sky. Press down with the little toe side of your right foot. And as you breathe in, telescoping ribs up. As you exhale, go in a little deeper feel as if you're moving thighs away from each other. Relax your arms down by your sides, shoulder shrug. Now breathe, breathe into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent. And exhale, squeeze, the low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze. Top tips of shoulders. Go down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze the mid tips of shoulders. Go down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders. Draw down, release, float your arms out. Tuck your feet, go deeper into the pose. Press down with the little toe side of your right foot so your knee does not turn inwards. Feel as if you're moving thighs away from each other. Eagle, inhale, bring your right arm over left and bind the hands. And as you breathe out, glide your arm bones back. Feel the opening into upper back. Now breathe into upper back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach your forearms up, elbows are higher than heart. Breathe internal, deep breath, feeling but energizing heart with breath. And as you breathe out, reach your forearms forward. Stay very focused with your feet. Feet are pressing down. And then breathe in, telescoping ribs up. And exhale, release. Blow your arms out to side. Then windmill the hands down either side of your right foot. Turn so you're now on the ball of your left foot. And then hands higher on the floor, on the floor, on your right thigh, or reaching your arms up towards the sky. Press back into both legs as you breathe in, telescoping ribs up. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, reach back into your left heel. Can bend your left knee, but your knee does not touch the floor. Now press your right foot to the floor, and as you breathe, lift belly away from the right thigh. And as you exhale, push the floor away. As you lift the chest, reach your arms up if you can. Press into your left leg, lengthen ribs away from the left hip. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Inhale, release. Hands to the floor, step back for plank. Now reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, elbows are in. Breathe to cobra, moving chest, and ribs forward as you lengthen the legs back. As you breathe out, press it back, downward facing dog. 
push you back into downward dog, bend the knees, come on down for dolphin against the wall. So you're moving to the wall and you're setting up your feet up against the wall, the measurement onto biceps and then elbows down to the floor. You're reaching the hands forward, you're paralleling the hands or clasping the hands. In this dolphin today, aiming for eight breaths. So you can do the eight breaths, both feet onto the wall. Eight breaths, both feet onto the wall, or you can one foot down, one foot up, four breaths each side, or bring your both feet onto the wall, stay here for two to three breaths, and then if you want to work with one leg up, aiming for two to three breaths on each side. Keep moving chest in, keep sending that leg straight out and up. So work with what feels uh, great for you. If you've got vertebrae or anything like that today, then, then do the pose standing. You can do this pose here instead. So you're doing like dolphins from standing with your forearms up against the wall and you're reaching your sit bones back or doing shower against the wall. Good. Good. Keep pushing the forearms to the floor and then keep taking, pushing the top ribs away from the shoulders. Really nice. Take your breath, take your breath to sternum. Good. And then reach. Everyone's looking really good here. Deep breaths. And then push, push the floor away. Take the weight out of the shoulders the more you push the floor away. Deep breaths. And oh, beautiful, really nice, everyone. Good. Keep sending that straight leg up. Your leg that's reaching up, reach it up, and then send your sit bones up to the leg that's reaching up. Deep breaths. Pull belly in. Feel as if you're sending sit bones up. Fantastic. Keep staying with your breath. Stay with the breath. Allow the breath to take you through the pose. Once you've, once you've done, come on down onto your knees. Once you've done both sides, you're coming down onto your knees, into all fours. The hands are under the shoulders. From here, as you breathe in, you're gliding forward and then coming all the way down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Once you're all the way down, reach your hands back, grabbing hold of your sit bones. Keeping the neck relaxed, third stage both, both. Both grabbing hold of sit bones. So from here, you breathe in, you lift your head, you lift your chest, you lift your leg. And as you do that, you lengthen the legs back. Squeeze your elbows in. Now breathe in and move belly forward away from pelvis. And as you exhale, sit bones tucks to heels. Breathe and lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you Exhale, you're lengthening your legs back. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release, low down. Hands are under the shoulders. Breathe into lower back, curl toes under. And exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the next breath, archer, warrior two. So breathe in step. Your left foot forward between the hands. Your front foot is aligned with the arc of the back foot. The arms are reaching out towards the side. Archer, reach your left arm straight up. Bend the elbow, reach it back. Bring your right arm around the back and bind the hand. Or use clothing to bind or use a strap. Press down into your left foot and then breathe in. Lift out of left side. Open the ribs as you reach your left arm up. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder down. You can also use your right hand to tuck 
your left elbow up. So pressing down into both legs as you breathe in, lengthen up, chest lifts. And as you breathe out, reaching that left elbow up. Now breathe in and feel for breathing into heart as you lift sternum. And as you exhale, as you reach your left elbow up, glide your right shoulder down. Feel what comes up for you as you're working through this pose. Oftentimes we've taken a lot of weight into shoulders. We're carrying a lot of other people's stuff in shoulders. So notice what comes up, breathe in deeply. And exhale, release, float your arms out to side. Press your reverse warriors, so press into your right leg, breathe in, reach your right arm up, open right side ribs. To do that, reverse. Your right hand is now below or above the knee. Your left arm is reaching over your left ear. If your back feels streaky, bring your right hand higher up. And if you're open enough, you can bring your right hand all the way around onto left thigh. Press into your left thigh, breathing, lift your ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your right foot as you reach your left arm over left ear. Relax right ear to right shoulder. And then breathe to sternum, chest lifts. Keep the chest lifted, but as you exhale, tuck tailbone as if you're curling pubic bone to navel. On the next breath, push the floor away. Right leg lengthens out. You're lengthening out of right side. And as you exhale, left arm lengthens over left knee. Use your left arm breathing to pull your body up. Right hand supports your head. Place your left forearm onto your left thigh. Right arm is around the back for extended warrior variation. Press into your left leg. As you breathe in, glide your ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, relax your left shoulder back away from left knee. As you press into both legs, move your belly. Your diaphragm, lift your chest, feel, keep moving chest up to chin. And as you breathe out, reach your right shoulder down. This is if you're reaching your right elbow to right sit bone. Press into left leg and glide, lift the ribs away from hip. And as you breathe out, send your left sit bone back towards your right heel. Inhale, release, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Breathe into cobra or upward facing dog. With chest down, ridge forward as you lengthen legs back. And as you breathe out, press it back for downward facing dog. Bend the elbows, do turbo dog. Squeeze your elbows in and feel for pushing floor away in turbo dog. On the breath, breathe in, uh, warrior two. Step your right foot forward between the hands. Your arms are out towards the side. Bend the front knee. Front heel is aligned with the arc of the back four. Pressing down into both legs. Breathing left, lift up. Exhale, go in a little deeper. Archer, reach your right elbow up. Bend the elbow, reach it back. Bring your left arm around the back, bind the hands. Or use a strap to bind or close it. Press into your right foot. Breathe in, telescoping the ribs. Lift the ribs away from the right. As you exhale, send in. That right elbow up as if you're unlocking the shoulder. Now breathe and lift sternum. Keep lifting chest to chin. Keep pushing the floor away with your feet as you glide your left shoulder away from left knee. Now breathe in deeply. And exhale, the shoulders are moving in opposite directions. Elbows are moving in opposite directions. Now taking a, month, a couple more breaths and then noticing what comes up for you. And inhale, release. Put your arms out to the side, set up for a reverse warrior. Press into your left leg, breathing. Reach your left arm is up, open for a left side rib. As you breathe out, reverse. The left hand is now below or above the knee. Reach your right arm up. And if you can, reach your right arm over right hip. Press into left leg, lift out of left side. And as you exhale, that right arm is reaching over right hip. Now press down into both knees. So feel the strength from the earth. Draw this energy into body. So lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. 
And as you breathe out, you're reaching your right arm over, right here. Breathe into the intercostal nostrils on your right side. Push the floor away with your right foot as you reach right arm over right here. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up, left arm supports your hand. Don't be worried about variation, placing your right forearm onto right thigh. The left arm is around the back, tucking it onto your thigh. Press into your right leg as you breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from right here. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder away from left here. Press your left foot to the floor, breathe in, move belly, diaphragm, move chest. Keep drawing the chest to chin, but as you exhale, feel as if you're sending your left leg away from you. Anchor left foot to floor. Now anchor both feet to floor, and as you breathe in, lift your right ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, glide your left sit, right sit bone towards your left heel. Breathe to the left side of neck, deep breath. And exhale, relax your jaw. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down so the hands are either side of your front foot, your right foot, and step back into downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. From downward facing dog, bend the elbows for turbo dog. Squeeze your elbows in and keep feeling for pushing the floor away. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath, feeling your heart with breath. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back. Feel as if you're reaching elbows to the floor. They don't touch. They're about one, maybe three inches away from the floor. Relax your throat. Now breathe the sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you reach back. From here, bend the knees and come all the way down. You stand up for your next pose. Okay, so your next pose today is Vakasana. In your Vakasana pose, you're, you can use a block. So coming into the pose, you're coming down here. You're tucking your hands into prayer position and you're in a squat position. You reach your elbows as if down towards the floor. And then your elbows are tucked. Either the elbows are tucked inside. So coming up this way. Or you can tuck the elbow into the, tuck the knee into the armpit. If you tuck the knee into the armpit, you're slightly higher. You breathe in, you're lifting, lengthening ribs away from waist. As your head comes down, your feet come up one at a time. Keep pushing the floor away. Keep pushing the floor away with your hands there, and you're pushing the floor away as you lift your belly. Or you can use a, a block, stepping onto the block and lifting one foot. So the weight is on one arm at a time. And then keep, keep swapping between uh, both sides. If you don't want to have the weight onto the arms, then if you were in squat, aim to have both feet on the floor, hands are into prayer position, tuck your elbows in. As you press your sit bones to the floor, you're lifting belly, diaphragm, chest. Keep lifting up. And as you breathe out, send your sit bones down as if you're reaching sit bones to the floor. And then press your feet down and lengthen. Keep lifting up. And as you breathe out, sit in. Feel as if you're aiming your sit bones to the floor. And then breathe in, lengthen out of lower back. Keep, chest, keep the chest lifted. Keep feeling as you're lifting, sucking everything up. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your feet to so get the sensation of as if you're lifting out away from hips. And from there, if you're in Bakasana, step it back or hop it back and lower down, keeping the elbows in. And then everyone from, from this pose, step back into plank. And then inhale, cobra. Move chest and ribs forward, lengthen legs back. And as you breathe out, press it back, downward facing dog. Push the floor away in downward facing dog. And if you can do turbo dog, do turbo dog. 
and then breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands forward, twisting lunge. So left foot is step forward, the right foot is to the floor. Push the floor away. If you reach your arms up towards the sky. Twisting lunge, left hand is onto left thigh, breathe in, reach your right arm up. As you breathe out, your right elbow is over your left thigh. Make a fist with your right hand, left hand is on top. Relax right ear to right shoulder. Press into your right shin, breathe, and lengthen ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe that twist, open to the left side. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, as you twist to the left, glide your left sit bone back. Now breathe to heart, energize, heart with breath. And as you breathe out, rolling chest open to the left. Keep pressing the floor away with your uh, left foot. Then inhale, release as you ease back to center. Had your right knee uh, lunge H to B. So your right knee is padded. Your right hand is reaching back. You're grabbing hold of your of your right uh, foot or ankle. And then from here, you breathe in, you lengthen away from your right thigh. And as you exhale, as you come a little deeper, you're drawing your right heel towards the glutes, H to B. Press your left foot to floor, and then breathe in, feel as if lifting, lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, as you come a little deeper, feel as if you're sending your left sit bone to left heel. Now breathe to heart, deep breath. And as you exhale, you're moving that right heel in as close towards the glute as you can. One more breath in, deep breath. And exhale, taking it a little deeper. And then inhale, release. And peace. So from here, pigeon. So step your left foot towards the right edge of the mat. And then your left hand center, like on by sternum, hands flat to the floor. Reach your right hand back, grab hold of the ankle. So you're not folding forward today, you're kind of reaching your heel away from you. So as you breathe in, press down into your left shin and lift your belly, your diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, reach your right heel away from you, pigeon back bend. As you breathe, you're lengthening out of lower back. And as you exhale, keep sending that right leg back. Deep breath, lift sternum. And as you breathe out, feel for sending that right leg away from you. Then inhale, release. Bring your hands down, eye under the shoulders, and then step back for plank. Feel for pushing the floor away. On exhale, come down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Keep reaching back into the heel. Breathe into cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, release, lower down, hands under the shoulders, breathing, curl toes under, and exhale, press back to the downward facing dog, pushing floor away in your downward dog. Twisting lunge, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Place your left knee to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Right hand is onto right thigh, breathe in, stretch your left arm is up. And as you Exhale, left elbow is over your right thigh. Make a fist with your left hand, right hand is on top. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Press into your left shin. As you breathe in, glide your ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, twist to the right. Now breathe, feel the energy that's building into lower back and lengthening away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, twist to the right and glide your right hip back. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath, filling your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the right, glide your right shoulder away from right. 
uh, inhale, release. Working into H to B, so pad your left knee. Ease your right foot forward slightly and reach your left arm back. Bend your left knee, grab hold of the ankle or the foot. Traction your right thigh forward. As you breathe in, lift, lengthen out of right, left side. And as you exhale, as you come a little deeper, draw your left heel so the heel comes all the way up to glutes. As you breathe, keep lengthening out of lower back. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, feel as if you're reaching right sit bone down towards your right heel. Press your right foot to floor and then feel as if you're lifting belly away from the right thigh. And as you exhale, taking it a little deeper. One more breath here, deep breath. And exhale, release. Pigeon. Uh, back bend, grabbing the ankle with your left hand. So ease your right foot towards the left edge of the mat. Bring your right hand aligned with sac uh, sternum, hands to the floor. Reach your left hand back, grab hold of the left ankle with left hand. As you bear down into pelvis, breathe in, lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And as you exhale, reaching your left heel away from you. Now breathe and feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, reach, Seki sending your left heel back. Now breathe and breathe to diaphragm. Now lift chest. And exhale, reach, keep sending that left heel back. One more breath here, deep breath. And exhale, release. From here, grab hold of a block or a roll. Your next pose today is, is camel with the roll between your thighs. So in your camel today, you are measuring up. Your hands, thumbs are either side of the spinal column. The roll, the, the roll or the block is between your thighs. Press your shins to the floor. And as you breathe in, as your shins presses down, you lift your belly, your diaphragm, you lift your chest. And as you exhale, squeeze your elbows in. But initially, tuck the chin. So keep the chin tucking onto chest. So really feel as your sh shins press it down, you breathe in and lift out of lower back. Lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, keep the chest lifted. So breathe and lift. Feel you're moving belly away from pelvis, similar to the feel when you're in bridge. Belly's away from pelvis. And as you exhale, shins to the floor, but lengthen out of lower back. So no compression into lower back. Now as you breathe in, lift your side ribs up as if you're lifting your chest up to sky. And as you exhale, lengthen out of lower back. Squeeze the roll or the block. Now breathe and feel as if you're ballooning the chest, your chest up, up to sky. And as you press your shins down, lift out of lower back. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Come on up and then sit down onto heels. From here, you're lying down onto your belly and your roll is now placed between your thighs. For cobra push-ups with the roll between your thighs. Hands are under the shoulders, tops of the feet are onto the floor. Now from here, breathe in. Uh, sorry, tuck tailbones and squeeze the roll. Now breathe in and move your chest and ribs forward. You're lengthening the legs back, sit bones tucks the heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, all the way down. Tuck tailbone, squeeze the roll. As you breathe in, you're moving chest and ribs forward. Keep drawing chest as if through the arms. And as you breathe out, move your chest and ribs forward as you come on all the way down. Now tuck tailbones and squeeze the roll. Breathe in, 
move chest and ribs forward. Keep drawing the chest forward, keep lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, move chest and ribs forward as you come on down. Last one like this, tuck tailbones, squeeze the roll. And as you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward. And as you exhale, come on down, all the way to the floor. Once you're all the way down, move the roll. Lie down, push back into uh, all fours, and then lie down onto your back for elbow to knee. So in your elbow to knee, now you've done a lot of work into lower back. So you're working in traction in your back out. You can do this elbow to knee. In this way, I'm not sure if I've showed you this one before. So in elbow to knee here, you can actually traction pushing the, a wall. So you can have the foot against the wall and then traction the thigh. It's really, it feels really nice in opening into uh, lower back. So your pose here, your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Your lower back presses the floor. If your back is tweaky, you can do this with one foot onto the floor. As you breathe in, lift your head, shoulder blades up away from the floor. You hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to your left knee. You reach your right leg forward. You have a wall, the foot can be pressed against the wall. Your right hand is on to right thigh. Now you curl tailbone up and traction your thigh away from you. Reach your left elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to your right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Your left hand is onto left thigh. Now curl tailbone up and traction your thigh away from you. Reach your right elbow up and pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to left knee, reach your right leg forward. Right hand is onto right thigh by the hip crease. Curl tailbone up, traction your thigh away from you, reaching your left elbow up. Now pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee, and reach your left leg forward. Place your left hand onto thigh. Curl tailbone up. Traction your thigh away from you. Reach your right elbow up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Right hand is onto thigh. Now curl tailbone up and traction the thigh away from you. Reach your left elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Left hand is onto left thigh. Curl tailbone up, traction your left thigh forward. Reach your right elbow up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, release. Slow head and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet to the floor. Let your arms be out by your side. And allow the knees to come down towards your right armpit. Head is in the opposite direction to knees. Now breathe in as you breathe, move belly, lengthen belly away from the pelvis. And exhale, relax your left shoulder away from left ear. Breathe into lower back and your lengthening ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, feel as if your sit bones tucks towards your heels. Breathe to diaphragm, feel your ribs as they open wide to armpits.
and exhale, feel into that release. Now breathe them to back apart, right between shoulder blades. And as you exhale, feel as if the arms are opening away from each other. Breathe to heart, deep breath. And exhale. Press your arms to the floor, breathe in, draw your knees together one at a time. And as you exhale, allow the knees to come down to the other side. So the knees are coming down towards your left armpit. Your head is in the opposite direction. It doesn't matter whether your knees get to the floor. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, relax your right shoulder down. As you breathe, feel as if you're lengthening left ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, feel as if your sit bones tucks to heels. As you breathe, breathe into the right side ribs as if you're lengthening ribs away from your right hip. And as you exhale, feeling for letting go a little bit more. Now breathe, breathe to back of heart and feeling for energizing your heart with breath. And exhale. Breathe to sternum. Exhale. Press your arms to the floor. Breathe in one at a time. Draw your knees back to center. And then place the soles of your feet onto the floor. Either leave your feet onto the soles of the feet to the floor or the soles of your feet together or lengthen, straighten the legs. You can be moving to the wall and have the sit bones to the wall and the legs reaching straight up. Lie down into your final pose into Shavasana, allowing yourself to completely relax.
as you lie here, begin to feel the edges of toes, the edges of fingers, the edges of your skin. And feel for moving that energy through your heart and from your heart out to every cell. And now on the next breath, begin to move your body in a way that feels good. And then bend the knees and move knees to chest, hug the knees. Allow anybody to ease side to side, forward and back. And then roll to your left side, towards your heart center. Keeping the neck relaxed, right hand is by your chest, onto the floor, breathe in. On exhale, push the floor away with your right hand as you come up. Using your left hand to support your foot in there. Coming all the way up. Coming into the seated position. Bring your hands together so the thumbs are lightly touching sternum. And give yourself a moment to notice how you feel. And congratulate yourself for your practice. Thanking you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. To finish with a breath, inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.